Welcome back fellow travelers. I want to talk to you today about locks on your check luggage. So back in the day when you had to go through a check-in agent, they'd always tell you to remove your locks. With the advent of drop and go luggage belts where you could just deposit your bag and then take off, you might not have the opportunity to run into a check-in agent who will say, hey, those, those locks got to go. Now the reason, number one, <laughs> is that if you lock your bag, your locks will more likely than not be cut as there are checkpoints where customs tsa whatever go through people's luggage this is to ensure that there is no hazardous materials and you know safety regulations all that kind of good stuff to make sure that everybody travels safe more than that though is that if they somehow get by without a cut lock that to a lot of thieves and not to say that every baggage agent won't steal something because there are instances where baggage agents have stolen things in the past. I can think back in Canada during the Olympics in Vancouver, there were athletes flying home and there was this whole big uproar about uh, some athletes' memorabilia going missing, you know, and it was proven that a baggage agent had taken out of the bags stuff that was meant to, you know, belong to somebody else. Well, what happens here is that if you have a lock on your bag, it to me and to a lot of people says, oh, there must be something interesting in there for them to lock it. Odds are maybe it's not. Maybe it's just, you know, underwear and regular socks and stuff like that. Nothing really too exciting, but that gives the illusion that there is something valuable to hide. Now, if you are traveling with valuables, travel with them on your in your carry-on, not check luggage. And that's not just because it could get stolen. It could get damaged more easily than if you were to carry on. And if you can't carry it on because it doesn't meet some sort of regulation, your best bet is to send it to yourself, you know, go to FedEx, UPS, whatever, and just send it to yourself. It will save you the hassle. It might cost you, you know, $10, $15, but it's going to be guaranteed or insured. And it will be one less thing for you to carry on board the aircraft or check in, hoping that it doesn't break and hoping that it doesn't get stolen. Because, yeah, it's true. Things will get stolen, but they're completely out of your hands. If a thief wants to break into your bag, a lock will not stop them. It will definitely not stop them. You just end up spending extra money on locks that will get cut anyways. So those are the reasons why I would advocate against locking your bag. It really doesn't help serve any purpose. If a thief wants to get in, they'll get in. And even if it's not a thief... If they want to get in the bag to check the contents, they will cut it. I hope that saves you on your next lock purchase. <laughs> in the meantime though, if you'd like to tell me about your experience with check bags, how do you deal with the expensive items? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, you can check out another video right over here. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right here. It helps the channel out, but it also lets you know when we upload new videos. I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. Until next time, safe travels.